it's time to fly back to Paris and before I go I just wanted to quickly sum up two and a half weeks in San Francisco and I wanted to share my first impressions conclusions about the city and what I would do next we were staying at Soma which is south of market it's close to the financial district but it's also close to the area that is widely known as the, the triggest area in terms of safety and homelessness and we're a 15 minute walk from there and then 15 minute walk from financial district where all the offices are the week that i came so like a week ago there was this conference with um, leaders from the united states and china coming into the town there was a lot of police and they cleaned up the city and i can see that the cleanup effort continues even after the conference but obviously it's uh, quite different than during the conference the second week sort of came back to normal i could tell the difference and I could tell that there was more people you want to stay away from. <laughs> I mean nothing happened and I didn't feel uh, in a real danger at any point but whenever I would walk alone I would be on the lookout for people with weird behavior and things like this. The, the changes in this area were very drastic during COVID because a lot of offices are reducing their capacity and the number of people coming to the offices. Many businesses also closed so as a consequence this area became populated by homeless population that lives nearby. I didn't feel always safe and even though nothing happened it's just like felt i felt uneasy especially when we walked through the tenderloin and at some point i really like freaked out <laughs> but this is me too so um i just like on hyper alert for whatever um, potential danger can happen especially being a woman and sometimes walking by myself i didn't feel reassured in some streets there is Things that I've learned that I didn't know, like specifically, they decriminalized anything that is under a thousand dollars of damage, and so the um, car break-ins are the most popular crime here. And from this perspective, I didn't even feel like we should have a car unless we can park it in a garage. And even then, we were driving on a rental car through the area that's called tenderloin and it's known to be sort of a bad area and when you drive through it's to me personally it was shocking because you see people like doing drugs on the street and like they're living there and it's i would say very concerning and gives you this uneasy feeling which is a mix of fear but also compassion for these people and it's like yeah it's very uneasy feeling and i haven't been confronted to this previously especially in such an extent I think the closest it came to my personal experiences when I went to Sao Paulo. It still feels safer than there. So in Sao Paulo, people would stop me on the street when I was trying to take a photo with my phone. Here I feel like safe taking my phone out. So this at least is not a concern. You need to have certain knowledge about the city to know how to live here. There is an ongoing effort from government that hopefully will make it better with time. All this said, there is very nice areas to where this does not necessarily apply or apply in a very reduced degree. It's Marina District, Pacific Heights, Colholo, like Russian Hill, Presidio. So this is all a bit further out and there is a big difference in architecture. So this classic Victorian style buildings and it's low rise and then of course like waterfront beaches and this huge green spaces one of which is a golden gate park we went there a couple of times there's plenty of restaurants so it was mostly going there to do something or just explore the area and i must say that those parts were my favorite and in these areas i felt completely safe it's beautiful it's clean it's nice you have plenty of restaurants coffee shops so our next trip that is beginning of next year, I think this is the areas we'll try to find something. It's gonna be not as easy because these areas have a lot of long-term rentals, which are mostly unfurnished and you have to sign a one-year lease, which doesn't exactly fit with what we are looking for. And so with the short-term rentals and fully furnished apartments, there's a lot of limitations. Those offers would usually come in high rises and high rises would usually be where we live or in financial district. Some of the like unusual things or unexpected discoveries for me smells in San Francisco and not in a good way. So when you work the streets and also your apartment building, the most common smell is the wheat. 
it's legalized here so people take a full advantage <laughs> to the extent where every time we come home this would be what we greeted with because we have a neighbor who I feel does it 24 7 and I personally am not a smoker and I don't consume it so for me it's more disturbing than pleasant I guess for some people it might be like a positive <laughs> but yeah this is something just to know and then the other smells are also not that nice and again it's linked to homeless population it's less and less but yeah again you know you can walk on the street it's nice and like pristine and clean and whatever and then some other place and very um, sanitized area let's put it this way undeniable positive about San Francisco is the weather like it takes some time adjusting to this because here it's sunny every day and when you talk to locals you're being all excited about how nice of a weather it is on a particular day they kind of uh, nonchalant about it and yeah it's gonna be the same tomorrow and the day after but yeah for me it's like a big positive because it changes your energy levels at least it changes my energy levels to just wake up to sunny weather every day or almost so, so 20 days I was here it's only was two where we had rain and maybe two more was overcast but other than that it was like full sun all day I'm gonna go back to the real winter I mean in Paris it's still not snow but it's cold and it's 20 degrees less than here so it's gonna be a little bit of readjustment I think it concludes nicely overall I would say it's positive and San Francisco is a great city as any big city it has its own caveats and you need to learn to live here I would say same for Paris but it's just been much longer and so I have a different framework and perception and I sort of know what to expect from different areas where not to go so hopefully next time I come I will be able to complete my impressions with other people's impressions who are living here longer than I was it's a good wrap I enjoyed the visit I think it was a perfect time perfect length for the first visit we are coming back here for at least another short term then we'll see if we stay long in San Francisco or we explore other areas on the west coast stay tuned there is a lot to come and I'm gonna finish packing and catch my flight to Paris <laughs>